As you well know, we are always concerned about the Bill of Rights at the John Birch Society. Too many Americans take these rights for granted. We see in the example of a Polish pastor, Paweł Hojecki, that freedom of speech does not exist even in countries which profess they are no longer communist, such as Poland. Paweł Hojecki is, no, is a no-holds-barred anti-communist. He calls it as he sees it. He's lived through communism, even being a young communist who came to his senses and now spends his life fighting communism. He has a rather large following in Poland. I've been there and spoken to his summer conferences on more than one occasion. He has visited us here, speaking at our 60th John Birch Society anniversary celebration a few years ago. He and his family and a few of his close friends in his movement were here. They're good people. This statue is what they base their image on. It is of a Polish cavalryman. They became famous during the siege of Vienna in 1683 when they attacked the Turkish army and chased them out of Europe. Poland saved Europe from the Ottoman Empire, trying to conquer Europe. Pastor Hojecki wants his organization to help save Poland and then Europe from communism. Here's a message from Pastor Hojecki himself. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I am an evangelical pastor and an editor-in-chief of a Polish online against the tight TV. A group of haters and the Polish prosecutor's office have accused me of allegedly offending the religious feelings of Catholics in my sermons in my Protestant church. They also added political allegations to the religious one. I am also accused of allegedly insulting the Polish president and calling for a war with communist North Korea. The charges are absurd, but imagine this, I am facing up to five years in prison. The criminal trial is ongoing. Another hearing will be held on May 28. I am afraid it may be the last one and that I will be sentenced. Most of you don't know me and you don't know how to react to this information. I understand that. I am asking for two things. First, pass on this information to inform the public around the world, especially Christians, that one may go to prison in Poland for criticizing Catholics in sermon, and that the Polish Catholic authorities are trying to censor and limit a Polish pastor's freedom to preach. I am also asking you for prayer. Please pray for strength for me and my church. Also pray for wisdom for the judge and a just judgment. As a pastor and editor-in-chief of television, I defend everyone's freedom of speech, including those with whom I disagree. As a church and television, we speak up for, among others, the followers of Falun Gong and Uyghurs persecuted by communist China. Should you wish to know more about Pastor Hoyetsky's case, please click on the link in the description box. We will also be happy to answer any of your questions about the details of Pastor's case. You can contact us through the email address visible on the screen. When you know the case, we will be grateful if you post a photo with the hashtag SupportPastorHojecki. Thank you with all my heart. God bless you. He told me that many of the laws the communists had on the books were never repealed, and some were even made worse. He is being prosecuted under these laws and more. He needs as many people as possible to write to the Polish government in support of his cause, telling them that in a free country, the freedom of speech is of paramount importance. It is a hallmark of a free country. 
We've crafted a letter that you can use or use it to craft one yourself. The first step toward stifling of freedom is the curtailing of free speech. That is why our founders put it into our first Bill of Rights. It is that important. Please write to the Polish authorities and point out to them that the world is watching what Poland does. That freedom of speech, whether you agree with what is said or not, is an important part of a free society. And that by dropping the charges against Pastor Hojeki, it will send a message that Poland is indeed a free country once again. All links for the letter, as well as the many areas that are condemning Pastor Pavel Hojeki, can be found within the description of this Activate America video on jbs.org. Thank <laughs> you.